All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel, TCV the Country Boy. Uh, somebody sent me this link, and it says, uh, Eight Mile Behind the Scenes Rap Battles. All right, cool, man. I, I don't know if I've seen these, um, or if this was part of the movie or not. I don't know. But it says, Behind the Scenes Rap Battles. Uh, let's go. Let's check it out. Um, here we go. You are first. I right, DJ, kick that shit. Yo, yo. Y'all ready for death? Y'all ready for death? Small one, the fat killer. The game that got ugly. Let's go. Yo. Yo, I see your type before you think you're tough. Battle you. Bitch, you lucky I don't beat you up. In the game of fist and cuffs, I push your face back. You, you can't fuck with me, man. Really, just face back. That you versus me in the battle of 10 rounds. It's like Muggsy Bowles trying to fuck with Jim Brown. Dumb as fuck. I'm the type to run them up. Come in the club drunk as fuck. Slap your bitch so we can fuck. When I'm walking Type of man the size of Dan Theodore Trying to take his ear off Like Mike Tice, I'm quite nice on fight night And why he poppin' shit, man, I thought he liked life Apparently not, I make her hair really hot And if I miss shoes, then your parents will be shot Yo, I'm a bad boy, bitch is on I put 44s on your chest like you break my home and Everything went according to plan during the first battle But, but things changed when Marshall won the coin toss and had the opportunity to go second. The crowd began to taunt him. Faggot. Let me turn this mic on. Don't think for a minute I'ma let you get away with that song. Cause that shit was whack. You ain't spitting. Cause as a matter of fact, all of that shit was written. And I know it wasn't for me. Surely, you really must adore me. Now look it. Yo, you might as well move to Italy. Look, this guy's ripped. <laughs> Literally. You don't want to really fuck with this. On this microphone, I'm not stuck enough to this, but I don't give a fuck. You can keep that dope rap and turn your ass back around with your fucking skull cap and your bandana or your motherfucking sweatband. Fuck it with the style, you're a dead man. I ain't red man, but on this mic, yo, I pick it up. Just like your face when I had to rip it up. You don't want to see me. Yo. 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 The shelter. Yo. Yo. Uh, let me get up in this nigga like smashing with the red beam, Johnny blasting. He ballistic rhyme assassin. Get a guy to run like Harlan Nassin. Burying your pink rabbits for asking. Close caption. Nah, nigga don't say a word when he's playing. Get the burning up, burning you down, leaving your frown toe up full of pressure. Run around. You don't want the wheel a nigga no for pulling triggers. Hoist this fool on my neck. Back break this nigga. Check it out. Look, look. Yo, I got a flow. I'm from the Mo. You ain't Detroit, ho. Talk about Seven Mile. Change your style. I read your bio. You're really from Ohio. I'm vile. This guy's so fucking fat, I can't even see his eyes when he smiles. Yo, listen to this. Motherfucking rhyme, yo, check it, we can do this. As a matter of fact, have another beer. I'll be right back, dog. I'm gonna set the mic right here. <laughs> All right, next coming to the stage, we got the fusion. The fusion come to the stage. We'll let the rappers throw. Oh, it's a chick. Whoa, the fusion. The fusion, everybody. Whoa, oh, pleasant surprise. Do a coin toss. What you wanna be? Heads. Heads. Right, what you wanna do? Ladies first. Okay, ladies first. Ladies first. Yeah. DJ kick that shit. 
He said he was going to eat her fetus, man. <laughs> That's cool, man. He is awesome, though, man. Damn. All right. That was cool. I like that one a lot. Yeah, you don't battle rap that dude, man. He'll bust you up. All right. On to the next one. I've never seen that before. That was cool. All right, y'all. I'm going to give you a new update as to what's going on. We will give you $1,000. Simple as that. I appreciate everybody giving me the hookup. Um, when I told them that I did real estate stuff, man, I tell you what, be careful what you wish for because sometimes they could overwhelm you. Well, I, gu I guarantee you that is exactly what happened in this situation. We got bombarded, man. We got like over 250, 300 vacant properties from all over the country. And unfortunately, I didn't know it was going to be this crazy, man. And you guys are awesome for even thinking about doing that. So what my boss man said, what we need to do is we need to narrow this down a little bit because it's just... Too many, too many vacant houses and too much going on that I can't handle myself. And if I was to run down all these properties all day by myself, I wouldn't be able to do this reaction stuff because I'd be too busy running down these properties. So I'd be shooting myself in the ass and that would not be cool. But, and I don't want to disrespect y'all by y'all sending me properties and I'm not even be able to mess with them because it's and pick and choose and not do anything with the others. Um, so no, no, that's not cool either. So here's the deal. If you know of someone who has a house that they want to get rid of, don't want to mess with. I don't care what reason it is, whether it's a foreclosure situation, divorce situation, death in the family, don't want to mess with the house, too much trouble, old rental property, just beaten down, because, just want to get out, whatever the case may be. If you know of somebody, give us the info, hook us up with the people, and if we end up buying it, we will give you $1,000. Simple as that. If we buy it, $1,000 to you. Can't beat that, right? Just put a hook up. So there you go. Simple as that. I got to have just single family houses, just regular old houses. Um, and it's got to be in decent livable condition where, you know, it looks like somebody could actually almost live there. I mean, it may need some work or roof or foundation, but it ain't got, no, got like no big old hole in the roof or whatever because of a fire and mold damage and all that crazy stuff. Um, if y'all know of a decent house in a decent neighborhood, um, that would be cool. 